Three seasons in the UCF Knights dynasty, we really had to prove ourselves. We started out this series being demoted from the Conference USA and needing to earn our respect of the rest of the NCAA, and we've done that. In season number one, we won the conference tournament and went to the NCAA tournament in the play-in game and got one NCAA tourney win. In season two, we went on once again to be the top team in the Big South Conference, but then got beat in the conference tournament after that buzzer beater to send it into overtime. In season three, as you just saw, we made it into the NIT championship and ended up losing but now we make a huge transition into March Madness Legacy. If you are not familiar, we have been playing this uh, series on the console, and now we move over to the PC where this excellent mod exists, and we will continue this series here. But we will follow suit for the rest of the UCF programs. I think we've earned enough respect, and we are now in the Big 12 conference for the first time in this series going into the off season we have a couple of guys graduating including some underclassmen graduating jordan white graduates he is a senior nash kolchek graduates as well but devon bands is going to transfer away so how this game works is when they do transfer they transfer within the conference so we will see devon bands on another big 12 team that pushes us straight into recruiting. Now, we have two scholarships here to give out and about 10 targets, so we will go after them and see who we should give these scholarships to. First is Shaheen. He's a pretty good shooting guard, but we will come back and revisit him if we like him. Grant Poe is the second guy. He's a six foot five small forward out of Tampa, Florida, so he is a local kid. And looking at what he does well, he scores pretty well. His rebounds at 4.6. We'll come back and look at him if he does fit our scheme. Now, Gregory Denton is the number 238 prospect, one of the few three stars we are looking at. I was hoping that he would be a better shooter at six foot five, but only shooting about 15% from three, 6.3 rebounds, 10.6 points per game. And I'm not sure, like I said, he's quite what I'm looking for. If I wanna get a one, two, or three, I am looking for a shooter. But then that brings us to the biggest man we've ever recruited in this series in Dan Hayes. Seven foot four monster out of Danville, Illinois. He actually shoots 13.3 point uh, percentage from the three, 15 and a half points per game, 5.3 rebounds per game. For some reason for a seven four guy, he only averages 0.1 block. I'm not sure how accurate that stat is, but I can't pass up the opportunity to get a seven foot four guy who we can develop in the program I'm not saying he's going to start day one, but when he does, he could end up being a beast. Well, we've given out one scholarship, so we have one more to give out. Marcus Haley is next. I don't know if I need another big man. We have Bongani Mwangi, we have Reese Mahanic, and also Amali Straylock returning. So I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to go after two big men because I like the seven foot four kid. He is very, very special with that size. You can't teach size. Anthony Reese is the next guy. I want to go after shooter, so I'm not sh quite sure he really fits. He's six foot two, averaging eight points a game, eight assists per game as well, and only only shooting 15% from three. If I want to go after a forward, he's, he's either got to be a pretty good shooter or do something really really well, like score the basketball. Larry Jenkins doesn't quite do much at all, so I will quickly pass on him. I go to Tyson Gant in kind of the same story and then move on to Justin Singleton. And we finally find a guy who fits the mold that we want. 10.2 points per game, 4.3 steals per game, 5.3 assists per game and shoots 42%. He definitely fits what we're doing. So we decide to go to him for our last scholarship. We will offer that. He's the number 179 guy ranked in the country. Number 49 as far as two guards. And we will see if we get them. Dan Hayes ends up committing. So I am happy about that. We have a guy that's seven feet four. But Justin Singleton decides to go to Georgetown instead of UCF. So we need to hit the board once again and see if we can find some other guys. 
I definitely did not like the crop of guys we initially went with, so I decided to add three more guys and scout them. First is Ferdinand Madison. He is 5'11". That size does scare me, but he averages 13.7 points, 3.5 rebounds, 5.6 assists, is, is shooting over 40% from three, so I really, really like that. Michael Manning is next now. Another guy who cannot shoot the basketball from three. 14.3 percentage from three. I'm quickly going to pass on him. And then Don Morales, a guy that I was hoping could do something extremely well, like play defense and maybe rebound at a high clip, but he definitely doesn't do that. So Ferdinand Madison, he's ranked 524 in the nation. We decide to go hard after him. This time, I'm going to actually pitch while offering the scholarship, and it works. He commits to the team. He might not play year one at 511, but we will see what he can turn into in the future. So as we begin our journey in the Pac-12, we do get a invite to the Battle for Atlantis tournament, previously known as the Puerto Rico tip-off on uh, this mod. They have updated a lot of the tournaments, so they are up-to-date current with everything. And here's what our roster or our schedule will look like. We start off the season at DePaul. Now remember, we played DePaul in the NIT tournament, and now we play them on the road in that initial tournament, that fight for Atlantis. So we will have to see how DePaul comes back after a maybe revenge loss coming out off of last season. Obviously, we're jumping to a new console, so the rosters have changed. The rosters are now up to date to current life, but you could just see here, going into the Big 12, we have a lot of ranked teams. It's going to be a lot more tough this season. So we definitely need to make sure we train the right way. Going into really this season, I think we have a really good roster. I poured over all the ratings. Everything's exactly what it was from the last series on the console. I definitely want to make sure we're a good shooting team. That definitely is important to me. And in the front court, I definitely want to make sure that we rebound the ball efficiently and we also play good defense. That is going to be crucial versus these teams that have now like all American big men. We're going up against Kansas. We're going up against Texas Tech. We're going up against Houston. All of these good teams that are good year in and year out. And I want to make sure that we focus on our starters getting better because we need to compete, you know, with our first five against everybody else's first five. So here's what the initial roster looks like going into season four. Just Juan Wood is actually the highest rated guy on the squad. I don't think I can keep him out of the starting lineup any longer. I think that Bangani Mwangi and Just Juan Woods are going to be the one and two. Mwangi obviously coming off of two straight conference player of the year uh, awards. And we will have to see if he can get a third. It's going to be tough for the Big 12, but who knows? Sam Hayes is going to be the third highest rated guy above Reese Mahanic, who will probably be coming off of the bench now as our sixth man, as a big man too. 86 field goal. He's always been a good scorer and a good player, but I think that just Juan Woods just has too much upside to keep on the bench. I like Mahanic going into a junior year, but I definitely want to see what Woods can do. Credible is going into his junior season. He's an incredibly streaky shooter. It's always been his Achilles heel. He can hit threes, but sometimes like wide open, he just misses. It's just hot and cold. You never know. I still like him as our starting two, though, because of his ability to shoot the three ball. Bob Sharp this year will likely come off the bench because I do not want to do that three guard rotation. I think that we definitely took a step back on defense. At first, we were good. But then we started to defend the front court, and that's where we definitely saw a disadvantage. So that brings in some of our big men here. Amali Straylock is going to be 70 overall going into his junior year. His downfall, he does not, he's not put the ball in the bucket very well. But then Nash Kolchek graduated early, but that brought in his brother, Tyler Kolchek. Now, if you guys submit uh some of your custom recruits i make sure that my members get in first this was a member submission tyler kolchek is now joining the squad the difference between him and his brother nash kolchek is that tyler can shoot the three ball as a big man it's definitely a big big weapon as a big man Devontae Sward comes into this junior year and i think he's going to be battling for playing time i'm not really sure where it's going to come but i like him a lot his rebounding is good. His blocking is decent. So we'll have to see. The seven foot four guy we recruited in the offseason turns into Austin 
ball. A guy that I thought was going to shoot the three ball better than what he was. He comes in with a 12 three point uh, rating, but still. 96 block remember that point one block per game i have no idea why that was so low he's a decent defensive rebounder inside scoring 89 i love it i love it i love it we can develop him in the program we don't have to play him year one but he will get some playing time and then uh the last 511 uh guard out of west virginia we recruited turns into mitchell porter he can shoot. He's got good range. I definitely want to see that rating higher, though. I think it's in the mid-70s right now as far as three-pointers. And his speed is kind of low at 67, so I definitely want to see some improvement there. Like I said, he's not going to be a big weapon year one. And then there's Armando Hector, who is a walk-on. So we have really our first walk-on, who I see that's actually really, really good. 81 field goal in the 80s in his three-point percentage. He can score the basketball He's a guy that I definitely want to develop also. And then I'm missing one other guy that's Darian Edwards. He actually comes into this season as a guy that's going to contribute very, very well because he's six foot five. He is a forward and a guard, and he can play that three spot. He's got the size to actually play there and the defensive ability. So that's going to do it here for the offseason. I appreciate you guys being patient with me. I just welcome my second baby into the world so we will get these uploads going again and i love you guys appreciate you guys for the support now going into season four on march madness legacy i am excited for this season so you don't want to miss it big 12 that's going to be a huge challenge hit subscribe hit that like button stay tuned let's get it let's go I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in the dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the wet side But I'm from the east side, this how we slide This how we ride